Paracoxidioides. Now, paracoxidioides is a systemic fungus, meaning that it can cause infection in various parts of the body or organs. Now, paracoxidioides, as the name gives, it causes the disease paracoxidio mycosis. Mycosis is an identification factor or a suffix for fungal infection. Now, the prominent organism which, vis which will cause a specific disease, which are rare to study, is by Paracoxidioides brasilensis. Now, what is this? Now, this organism is dimorphic. Dimorphic meaning that at certain temperatures, it attains a different type of structure. So similarly, if it is present in the soil, it will be in the form of mold, whereas in, if it enters the human body, it turns into yeast. Now, this organism has specific type of shape now in the soil it can have high feed different looking but when it enters the body it forms a characteristic shape which looks like a ship wheel like if you can see that it looks like a it looks like a ship wheel now this yeast is quite similar to that of another organism which is blastomyces dermatitis why because it also has a similar structure but it has a single budding and it has it also consists of a double layer and it has a broad based bud but in the paracoxidiomycosis in what happens there are multiple bud rather than a single blood which is seen in blastomyces dermatitis so this is the one of the differentiating factor now what happens is when this mold is being inhaled it enters into the human body as you know that when it enters in the human body it in the tissue it forms into yeast forms multiple budding now what does this yeast do it forms lesions in the lungs and it can also form lesions in the oral mucosa it also causes enlargement of the lymph nodes and it can also disseminate to other organs like the liver, the spleen, the brain. Okay, now how do you identify such an organism? We identify such an organism by taking tissue biopsy of the respective space that it has affected. Now when we see that, we see the organism yeast itself, obviously, which has a ship captain wheels like appearance which we already know that in the tissue it will be in a ship captain wheel like appearance now if it is grown on culture we can see the mold it can have various hyphes and this culture is normally grown in two to four weeks we can also do a serology by immunodiffusion and competent fixation which indicates increase in antibody titer which is respective to that there is an infection that is present in the body now how do you treat such a disease you treat such a disease obviously if it is a fungus we will give the patient atraconazole and this is given for several months